We're back. Back with the guests. What's up? Want to introduce yourself? I'm Nisha. You ain't got to sit up with this dick. Yeah, y'all know who it is. Your boy Jay Romain, Mr. Salt Cuts, man. Hey, I dropped the prices on all cuts, but the females. I've been, I've been showing y'all love since I've been cutting here, and now I'm showing everybody love. You feel me, fellas? You can come get a chop and shave, blackout all that for thirty five. You know what I'm saying? No extras. You know what I'm talking about? Thirty five straight across the board. You got kids ten and under. I ain't gonna charge but fifteen. You know what I'm saying? Anything in between 18 and 10 is $20. Got a time frame on it? Right now, it's, just, it's up to, to January. I'm going to do it for the next two months, two and a half months. It, that'll help a lot of people out with Christmas shopping. I know Thanksgiving coming up, the holidays coming up. I, you know, So I got it set for January. I might run it a little longer because I know, I know how it is after Christmas, too. You know, you're trying to scrabbage up some change and stuff. I just try to help the community out, you know what I'm saying? Plus with this election year and everybody tight on budget right now, you know, just show love. Support the support the same people that support me. Tap in, hit the app. The cut app. app. The cut app. Download the cut, T H E C U T. The cut, you should have it because every barber in Jonesboro use it. South Cut 622. S A W C U T S 622. So. I got a little country accent, you know, some people. What'd you say? <laughs> Pizza. Uh, nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. I'm going as a uh, grown folk business. Grown folk business. I'm going to start it off with this question. You know, being on relationship talk, I'm going to start it off with is operating from trauma a choice? No. Because some people was raised on love and some people was raised on the struggle. Yeah. So I feel like if a person is raised on love and they give it a person that's raised on struggle, they're going to have to sit down and have a conversation about how they see things. Yeah. I, I've been in that situation because that's, that's what it was with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm raised nothing but love, you know. I've been around all women, so you know, I know how to treat a woman, you know. And I've been with people that's full of trauma that I heal from their past, right. their childhood, or whatever. Yes. Yeah. I come to learn a lot of people don't want to be healed. They don't yeah, want to fine. fix themselves. It's a choice. They come from with the toxic. They choose to stay on that on that level yeah. because they like to, uh, what is it, the uh, victim mentality, you know? Yes. Some people choose, like, I feel like some people who stay in toxic stuff, it's all they know and it's what they're comfortable with. And if, like, if they were in something good, it would be uncomfortable. Yeah. Some, yeah. some people, like, I'm not saying everybody, but there there's some people like females who go back to their abusers. I'm like, that's all you know. Yeah. And you don't know what it's like to be treated good. Yeah, but I still feel like it's a choice though, because once you've seen that you can be treated right, if you choose to go back to that negativity, that's the choice you're making. Oh yeah, they come from. Yeah. I can say, you can say it's a choice, but some people got some trauma they don't even know they're dealing with. And they, they don't even know they're putting it off on you. Yeah. If that makes sense to y'all, like yeah. you can go through something in life that, that's terrible. I'm talking about terrible. I, I I had trauma growing up. You know what I'm saying? And I don't live in my trauma. It is what it is. But I done been around people with trauma that don't even see that. If they do know they got trauma, they done blocked it out, and they done blocked it out so long that they don't even notice that they got that trauma no more. You know what I'm saying? But they using it against. Like not even just being in a relationship with somebody, you know what I mean? Be friendships or uh, mothers, daughters, son, father relationship, you know, parent, parent, child relationship, uh, sibling relationship, you know what I'm saying? But they don't even know they going through them being a victim and how they were treated as a victim, and then compared to how they were treated before, and they just like you, one of y'all just said, being treated like a victim, you know, a motherfucker tippy toeing around you. Yeah. Let you have your way, but you not even know you 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 know all your life you still dealing with the same thing. Yeah, you gotta be wanting to heal. You gotta That's want to heal and yeah. acknowledge yes. your trauma. Mm -hmm. And some people like I mean I'm not gonna lie I'm there's a part of me that's like I probably should go to therapy, but it's one of those like I feel weird talking to people. That's what I was about to ask. Like, what do you think the first step of healing should be? Therapy. 
Yeah, you have to everybody, admit that you have a problem. Though. You may not so have to go to a therapist, therapist but you need somebody therapy. to talk to. Everybody say therapy, but my bad, I ain't mean, play pussy. Don't. There's you. That's me. <laughs> uh, I initially said the first step is admitting that you have a problem. If you don't never admit that you got a problem, it ain't, it's, it's pointless to go see a therapist. True. You know what I'm saying? It is pointless because at the end of the day, you feel like ain't nothing wrong with you. It's your fault. Your, oh, yeah. yeah. It's I old fault the reason. I ain't did nothing to old, 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 old cut me off. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But you did something to old. But if you don't admit you got a problem the whole time, you and that therapist ain't going to be nothing to argue because you ain't do nothing to old. Mm hmm. And, and that's the biggest thing because I can say from experience I've been to two therapists uh, two therapists and like I'm if I don't really fuck with you like I'll tell y'all anything because you know y'all family but like a therapist I'm like oh, I'm good I'm having a great day I don't know why we got a friend like that I, I met your therapist she was like I can't do therapist she was like I lied to him Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, they can't they can't help you no. if you want to be real with them yeah. I'm doing so like you said you got to admit you gotta yeah. admit that first. You gotta admit you got a problem and go in there and look in the fiction problem. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. I go to therapy. And be open. I go to therapy. I've been going to therapy since my daddy died in 2020. That's good. I'm glad you It started with grief. Uh, <laughs> it started with grief counseling, with grief therapy. Yeah. I had to deal with that. Now they're gonna ask you some shit. You're gonna be like, dang, I ain't never just looked at it like that. They're gonna get to the root of it. And yeah. then I, after dealing with that, like, the night that my daddy passed away, you know, I got insomnia real bad. I slept like a fucking baby. Woke up, put in this car, I was there going airing up when we get up there. So I had to go after that to be strong for my mama and my sister. So yeah, and then after that, I said, okay, this shit do work. So then after that, that's when I started going to regular therapy to see why I'm so aggressive and I want a man to leave, but no, I come no. out strong as hell. But for you to leave, you got to show me that you can protect me and provide. I ain't just going to give you that shit. You got to show, show me you can handle it. Yeah. If I get sick tomorrow, it's the bill still going to be getting paid. I might have to figure out some stuff. But therapy helped me. With that. But it's like you said, we you got to be ready though, for it. As a man with leading, it ain't all about financial. I understand what you're saying. If yeah. I get sick, can you step up? That's, that's real ass shit, though. You know what I'm saying? But leading, leading in a relationship, a lot of people got it now. That, you know, I ain't talking about you. You just said yeah. something about leading. That men, as far as you know, most women look at it as paying for everything. No. You know what I'm saying? But leading, you, you leading a person's mind, you leading their heart, you leading their emotions, yes. you know what I'm saying? Financial, all this stuff, you know, to be the head of the household, it come more than just money. But nowadays, in this, this 2024, when it's been like this since scamming came out, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker feel like if you ain't got no bag, you can't lead them no real. You can't teach them nothing. But I know a motherfucker that can teach you how to cut hair, or teach you how to do hair, or teach you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can teach you some things, you feel what I'm saying, to put money in your pocket. That's, that's me leading you. Or I might send you a direction for you to, I might tell you, like, all right, I got this game plan. I got this game plan. We're going to do this, 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 and this. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You got to follow that. Ain't yeah. no, I can't lead you if I done gave you the game plan. We done wrote all this, this map down. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? And you like, well, shit, I ain't gonna do this. I'm gonna go do this. I think this is a shortcut to it. And now you just veered off. Okay. You just jumped out the car. Yeah. And the other part of it is other people think it's controlling things. Yep. When it comes to the lead. I don't but want a man to control me. That ain't what I'm trying to do. But some men yeah. come off control. Yep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's like a lot of women don't talk to you as, as you supposed to be talked to. They talk to you as if they talking to their child. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially when they get up in emotions and angry, you know what I mean? But what you're saying is it's true. It's true. And that thing, oh, go ahead. Okay. They go back to like they exes and that they, they came out control. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And that's what gonna be that way. You know what I'm saying? People gotta stop thinking that. You was like this one, so you gonna beat you like him. No, I ain't that person. I feel like a man is supposed to be in control though. I'm supposed to be controlling. It's to an extent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because 
if I'm not controlling it, you're not gonna you're not gonna follow my lead anyway. And if not controlling, I'll tell you what you did. I ain't gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, it depends on your tone, like how we yeah. want women to speak yeah. to us a certain way. We supposed to come off speaking a certain way to mm -hmm. women too. It's yeah. not what you say; it's how you it's say like it. Exactly. Yeah. So I can control the person. You know, I be. Y'all know I read books. I've been on this pimping book and shit. You know, and they say, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I read everything. If, if, if somebody, if I'm looking at a podcast and somebody bring out a book and they talking about this will help them do something, you know, I, I go I go investigate the book. I, it's just me. I done read 100 books this year and the year ain't even know. You feel what I'm saying? But I read the pimping. He was like, you can control, you know, you ain't got to physically control somebody. You can immensely control them. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 like that's I said, true. with the pimp book, he talking. He t it's forty eight laws or something. It's by uh, Pimp and Ken. Okay, you know, you know what I'm saying. I think it's forty eight law of pimpology or something like that. If y'all want to go get the book and read it, it's a pretty good book too. You know what I'm saying. He pretty much talking about his life and how he came up and got into the pimping game and stuff like that. But you know, he also giving a couple secrets out and stuff. You know, for y'all people that ain't got no game and do help you with. <laughs> Go get the book and help you out. But it's, you know, they say, you know, it's mental. Controlling is mental. You know what I'm saying? You can control the person mentally. You know, you ain't got to be like, I, I shouldn't have to raise my voice. You get what I'm saying? Oh, you get it, you get away. <laughs> but, you know, I ain't. You know, try to veer out the conversation though, but you know, you control somebody, it's all about how you talk to a person and how you lead them and what direction you send them to. You know what I'm saying? I can I can control Nisha, I'm not saying that if me and Nisha together, I can control Nisha by having her if I can take her out of the spot she in and put her somewhere better. Mm -hmm. Cause you gain like in the book it was saying, you'll gain a certain trust and control over a person in the first two, three months. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you come to a person's life and show them different, you know what I'm saying? You just earn their trust. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So I come in Nisha life, boom, I got her, she working at, and I don't know where you work. She working at McDonald's, you know what I'm saying? But my girl Gwen, she at Rice, man. You making $12 here, and I'm like, hey, Gwen, man, I got a home girl, woo, 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 you know? Boom, 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 put a word in. Now I got you at Rice and I'm taking you to work, dropping y'all, picking y'all, bringing you lunch, all that. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got you up for making $22 now. I guess I can do no wrong in this woman's eye. You know what I'm saying? You took her from where she was and upgraded her. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I can do no wrong in this woman's eye because I just elevated this woman and I ain't had to put no money into it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had to put no work into it. I just had to call my home girl because she can put her in a better position. Mm -hmm. But to her, you, you know what I'm saying? You was, feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I just came and she don't even know what I did. She just like, damn, I'm, hey, Jay gave me this job. He, ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, like, man, fuck that. That nigga just using you for your check. He like, <laughs> shit. No, he ain't. He had whatever he want. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's that you, simple, just, you know what I mean? It's yeah. about gaining, you know. If you get a woman, if you control a woman, my you control everything that comes with a woman. You feel what I'm saying? Stop going into a relationship trying to force a motherfucker to do something. And if she ain't gonna follow your rule, man, kick that motherfucker to the curb, go get another one. It's a million women. It's I think the number's ten to one right now. Right. Ten women and one man. And go to that pilot, but I ain't gonna get into that. I'm saying that for another one. You know, I read the pilot book too. You did say she won't hit on. So we will get there. I did what you about to say? I did want to hit on something. When you said um the financial stuff. I rather, and I've told Ove this plenty of times. I rather be with somebody who's dead broke, but I know they want the best for me. They want to elevate. They want to build. They want this. You want somebody that's willing to uplift you and do everything they can for you. It ain't about the money for you. Then somebody who bringing in, you know, let's just say sixty thousand a year. I rather be with somebody who's only bringing twenty, but they know they want to elevate. They want to build something. They want. They want to be have better. a relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Then somebody who brings in a hundred thousand. And they're like, oh no, I'm the shit, I'm this, yeah, I'm that. Know. You can't like with that situation. Jordan not the best man. Ooh. Yeah. Jordan not the best man. Exactly. With that with that situation, it's I understand I'm a nigga. You know what I'm yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Which you, oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But the problem with the problem with the women that do make the money is, you know, in their mind it's all about the money. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? But they gonna come across a motherfucker. It might not be me, you might it might be one of us. 
they don't come across a motherfucker that's gonna show them some type of love. You feel what I'm saying? A dominant, a masculine woman, it, you know, it's hard for them to be soft. Cause you know, by the time you get to that life, they already- They already had to be so hard you know for part of that life, it's hard to go back. So me personally, I don't care if she made a hundred thousand dollars more than me, or you know what I'm saying? 10, 15,000 a year. It's all about uh, what you see. Hitting that woman's what, heart. What you see, it ain't, it ain't about no woman. Yeah, what you see was uh, how she talked to you, you know, uplift you and stuff like that. That's what a nigga need. I'm already out here dealing with the world. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying you're not out here dealing with the world, but you know, you my woman, you supposed to be my peace. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And if you're not bringing peace, you bring chaos. Mm -hmm. And I'm already stressed. Half the day. I'm, I'm already home. mad because you making a hundred thousand. I'm making fifty. I'm trying to get to the hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. I get home, bitch, you throwing it in my face. You want a box? I swear to God. At this point, you hands know what bisexual. I'm saying? Like, hands are bisexual. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, what, what we on, bitch? Like, can I come in and yeah. you know what I mean? Like, can I breathe for a second? Bitch, you on? I ain't fucked up. I ain't no goddamn beat a bitch. My bad. <laughs> I got the remedy. Protect. Here we are coming from. To that real though, I done dated women that broke. I dated women with a bag. You know what I'm saying? I done, I done been, you know, college student. You know what I mean? A girl would have, they'll make it a hundred K. It's all about how you speak to a motherfucker. And I also don't want to be with somebody who needs me to be around. I want them to want me to be around. Like, yeah, yeah. I see too many people get in relationships because they're like, oh, the rent's gonna be cheaper, the insurance gonna be cheaper, so we can do it together. I'm like, me? I don't want fucking none of that. That's <laughs> 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 stupid. <Damn. laughs> <Damn. laughs> yeah. I get what you're saying for sure. I don't get a kind of sure, I'm sorry, so. <laughs> sorry, so. <laughs> you know what I'm sorry, so. Yeah, I tried that too. I tried that too. Like, me and her, one of y'all tried to do. Because I seen how. You know, I built her up, she built me up, you know what I'm saying? We split up, I give her something else, and that's all I'm trying to do. Wherever, whatever your situation is, I'm trying to elevate you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But they don't want we can build together too. Not no. everybody want that. Not everybody want that. Some, Some people, people want people to take, take but care But it ain't even all that though. Like, a motherfucker can see what you did for somebody else and automatically think, oh, yeah. I'm about to get that. Mm -hmm. that they, don't know, they don't know deep down why you was doing all that for somebody else. And that's been your biggest issue, yeah. is everybody else that dealt with besides going and think, Oh, oh, well, Gwen got all this. They, Maybe they, I went for what I got. Me. I put in 20 years oh, to get what I get. I spoiled because she spoiled me. You know what I'm saying? Period. A lot of people don't see that part of it. They don't. No, they don't. They don't. They because don't. I don't have to they show just, what I can do. They just, they just see. They see O doing what yeah. O do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying? If I take y'all out of the equation and say, you know, let's say. But I've seen you up with Nisha, plenty of females Nisha, too. Nisha and her. Whoever her significant other is, you know, I'm watching their relationship. Nisha over here, she spoiled a motherfucker. Everything she gets, she want. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I bring a female around, they gonna see Nisha like that. I want what Nisha get. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yep. Nisha get, she, you know, she talk this motherfucker any kind of way. You know what I'm, I'm just, you know, yeah. using you for it because you know you got a smart mouth, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, like Nisha, she talk to little pissy tail, come girl, you know what I'm saying? Man. <laughs> Your girl like damn shit, and she still get away. Now you get home and she wanna. She feels some type of way. So I understand what you say. I done, I done uplifted the women before. You know what I'm saying? I done got uplifted too. You feel me? But I just want a motherfucker that want to love my dirty drawers. I'm gonna keep the band. I don't give a damn what she's doing. I swear. Yeah. 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 It's, it's hard to find that because everybody want. It's everybody want uh. It's 2024. Though all these females see nowadays, all you got a little money, so. Let me holler at you right quick. You got to find a woman that really just loves you and is dedicated to you and is going to uplift you. You got to go through a lot of stuff. I don't want love. I don't want motherfucker to love my dirty drama. Well, then you want love. Nah. Because for a woman to love your dirty drama, yeah. she got to love your ass. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I ain't mad. I, 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 I haven't been in a situation so long, man. Like, I don't, I don't, I'm just straight. I just straight, man. Like, I was just. I need their respect. What she show? Their respect. Yeah, you got you got so much going on these days to where, you know, you think somebody's just down a hundred percent, but then they easily talked out of where they in because they're free. Mm -hmm. I Very take it back. I don't want to look my dirty girl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You listen to your single friends. Hey. You gonna be single around yeah, with them. Sometimes that's what they want. 
Mm-hmm. That's what them friends want. And they'll hate you down. Yeah, I'm like this, shit. so I'm about to talk about him, so she can eat him, so she can be on the same time. level I'm on, so Whole we can go out and do this together. Them friends being worse situation, situation, so you have to, oh, they can't have that, you got to be on the same level as me, baby. Mm. Both finna be down now. Yeah. You no. can't be better than me. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what it is. They don't want you doing better than me. Oh, Some people friends are different. That should make you want to do better. Yeah. I should have did this. Look, let me, let me, let me show her what I can do. Come on. Yep. See, my generation, they don't want that. They want strictly, they want handouts. They want handouts. They want sex. They they don't want to put any. They of want that social me. media. Mm-hmm. They want posts. They don't majority. want the real yeah. hard work. Like, the majority. Post me if you love me. Like, yeah. I see some of y'all busting yeah. y'all ass for real. Yeah. Like I'm 22, and I'd rather not fuck half the time because I'm I'm not I'm not on the fucking and just we kick rocks. That shit nasty to me. Because I'm like, I don't know where you've been. I don't know what you do. That casual sex. I, I yeah, rather, a lot of that. I yeah. rather know who the fuck you are before I stick my dick in you. Mm-hmm. I grew up. I, I put my be, mouth on you. I used to be that nigga. No, I ain't gonna do that. Because I beat you. I gotta get to know a motherfucker put my mouth on him and shit. You know what I'm saying? We grew up in that. You know, we had mm-hmm. babies. You know what I'm saying? We lived that fair life. We barely were calm. Half of us got four, five plus kids. You know what I'm right. saying? I have zero. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 How you not know? Yeah. <laughs> but, you know. No, but wrap that shit up. You got me some cones. I buy. I my got old. It was like some. I'm on what you on. You know what I'm saying? I got to get to know a motherfucker. You know, cause y'all generation different. Oh, we fucked. Yeah. yeah. I say it every day. I grew. I was born in the wrong generation. Cause my mindset is not for my age group. Hmm. I, I I should have been born when you and oh, because that's my mindset. You <laughs> <laughs> have time though. Bro. Yeah, time. Like, you have time, baby. I stayed in Twin Town and the Quad. I, I remember when they built. We like we now because of all the time. Yeah, like then you know. But you know, baby, we was growing up, man. You know, you can leave kids outside. You can go to the mall, shop for all day. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Come back, they still in the neighborhood. Now you got a bunch of P Diddy's running around. I don't mean. Well, P Diddy ain't really forced nobody or take nobody. He just drugged them when they got to his house. I mean, this is at, at that point. <laughs> at that point. <laughs> I mean, if I'm coming to visit you, I ain't gonna be well, drugged. Thousand bucks. He gave you the opportunity. He gave you the opportunity. Gave you the opportunity to dip, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he had two parties in one night. Right. You had yeah, the opportunity yeah, to leave. Yeah. You decide to stay. See, I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I know right now. Baby, all that shit. Me, Mitt, how you feel? Okay. Okay. Right, y'all got to love laws in the day. I'm going to be honest with you. You know, ain't no game me, and I probably left it with some gay shit, but, you know, if you you ever seen P. Diddy Porters? Yeah. 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 Everybody who everybody, I ain't never seen it, but they saying everybody who's everybody. Saying, everybody, saying, everybody, 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 everybody he got bitches everywhere. Mm-hmm. Literally. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like the people that did end up fucking with P did the reason it ain't come out to now is because that's something they wanted to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel you know that. what I'm saying? They can blame it all. Oh, well, this P did it. You know what I'm saying? I did it for the fortunes and fame and stuff. But it's just still your choice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah it's, it's hard. Nice to do it. Like yeah. everybody who's like, oh, well. Um, I only did it so I could get no, I'm sorry, I'd rather never make it. And I don't know right. everybody's story, I'm just going off the, the few stories that were put out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because people who are willing, like, I'm sorry, but someone who's willing to sexually assault a child and you want to claim, oh, well, I did it because I was no, motherfucker, kill me, like, straight up, like, I'm not gonna fuck a child, like, you either gonna kill me or I'm going to fuck home, and so everybody who. Jeffrey Epstein list, P. Diddy list, like everybody who is trying to be like, oh, well, this would, nah, motherfuckers, y'all had a choice. Like, I'd rather take death than to ever have that on my conscience that and I did that to child. Everybody over 18 on them lists and everything, he might have thought they were just dead apart. Yeah. Ain't, yeah ain't, ain't, ain't no point in nothing I'm talking about. Yeah, no, I'm be honest with you, you have, a, you have I, I'm, I'm 30 some years old, man. I've been to some parties and I've watched people get fucked up. You feel what I'm saying? I'm talking about fucked up on any and everything. You feel me? And I ain't seen any motherfucker do any and everything. Go live for the five and my weed for the season. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like, motherfuckers did anything. Then when they get up, they, you know, they, they, you know, blame it on whatever they were taking and stuff. But my boy, you know. I didn't know I did all that. 
if P did it to a party, the first party, think about it, the first party you ever went to in Jonesburg, he said that bitch would live the lane. You know what I'm saying? That that deteriorated if you went back to the next one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So he, number two. You feel me? He threw this party, first party. And you gonna take all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And then for the next 20 years, he throwing these same extravagant parties right, and everybody still going so, up. That's why. That's why. Every time you go, you're taking anywhere between three to 10 people. That's why all everything. these celebrities who I'm like, oh, well, I wasn't. Then why did you show up to four or five parties? Just don't go. He may invite you, but you don't got to go. Yeah. Because a lot of them said it was two parties. Like they went to the, the first party. And then you know everybody yeah. didn't want to go to that other yeah, party right. level. See, Denzel Washington said it best. He said, "Even uh, Jesus party with the sinners, as long as you leave before the devil come in." Yep. Yeah. And yeah. my biggest thing is a lot of the people in Hollywood. Like I'm, I, I don't know what it is about money that will make people disrespect their dignity. And well, you know you got that thing called Pope. Okay. I, I'd rather be a pope. I'm sorry. Like you'd rather be pope, but you gotta think about how many people they want their fortune and fame. Yeah. Don't what they do for this. And those people, people got a lot of fuck. You got a lot of parents that, that put a lot of pressure on their babies to be um, on this. Justin boat Bieber, again. perfect example. Justin Bieber was slutted out to Hollywood. Nah, that mama wanted to breathe. Yeah, there she you go. Now she there coming back. Now she coming back trying to defend Justin Bieber. My thing is, you know what I'm saying, like. If, if he came home and told you some shit like that, why you didn't come out then? Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? A lot of, I know we all subject, a lot of them motherfucking kids and shit that was at these folks' party, R. Kelly, mm -hmm. Bill Cosby, they parents sent them over there. Mm -hmm. Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. Why why are the parents not getting prosecuted? Oh no, that's why I feel like, 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 why I feel like R. Kelly shouldn't be in there either. Exactly. Because if you're going to lock R. Kelly up, lock yeah, that mom and daddy up too. Oh, lock that mom and daddy up too. Here. Everybody they should be able to get the money. Yeah, to be honest with you, if you, you basically pimping your child out. You basically gave me consent. What, what they gave me consent? They pimp out your money. Yeah. They the pimp. The and kids, that's the, the hoe. You yep. know what I'm saying? They ain't do nothing but hoe the child. She ain't there getting hoe out the frame. Mm -hmm. Well, mama in, in the mama got paid. Mama at the crib counting the money. I ain't telling you, we about to do this. Oh, let me pay this rent up a little bit. Come on, let me take you about to eat. And then, like the women that told, I don't understand because you know. See, I know a bunch of women I was in school getting picked up by grown folks. Mm. Yeah. But the thing is, those grown folks don't got no money. They had money. They, oh, had, they, they had, don't have P. Diddy money. They ain't got that type of money. money. They, 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 they had money. We were in high school. There was P. Diddy money to them. Yeah. 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 P. Diddy, you know, you got to think about it. We grew up at 8 and 9. You got a nigga coming to pick you up in the old school. Right. Six is only. You know. They take you go. You going to the nail shop. They get your little micros and shit. You got micros and shit. I miss them projects. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got too expensive. And get them a piece of burger. I was reading the thing. Right. He said, uh, I was reading a podcast. I was reading, I was listening, watching podcasts. He said, man, it was a light skinned nigga from uh, Dunn in the Dark or something like that. Talking out the dark or something. He said, man, I'm scared for the, the normal nigga. Because it's hard to even buy the simple shit for bitches now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You yep. know what I'm saying? You can't go get no nail done now. It's like $100 just for one hand. And try, and try to try try two of them. Well, um, and, I, and I get where you're coming from. And like I understand it too. I guess I was just raised different where I can't lose my self-respect and dignity for a check. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry, but I'm not having you stick nothing in me. I'm not sucking I, nothing uh, to get no deal. I don't know if Beyonce can get it. I ain't gonna lie to you. I mean, if she wanted to sexually assault my body, Jay-Z, don't kill me. Um, if she <laughs> wanted to sexually assault me, now you that's... as far as a man. I, I ain't going for no man, but a woman. But even... But, but, you don't see no woman. But, but I'm sorry. Even this. Oh, we have you saw this? Not she ain't into it. That thing ain't into it. And they exposed the videos, and you hear people in, literally getting toe rage. Yeah, yeah. niggas. No bad, not, yeah, and it's, it's niggas. That, that, I feel like, nigga, if you got, if you take some dick, you want that dick. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. You blame it on drugs. And the behind with you, the drugs and shit enhance what you yes. really feel on the inside. Now you got yep. an excuse to yep. experiment and to blame it on something. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. That's all that is. Cause that's been in you. But mm -hmm. even if it was a woman though, like part of me still Take like it. like Beyonce can still get it. But <laughs> but I got took advantage of when I was seventeen by a grown. But even then I'm still like in my head that's still disgusting. 
Like, I even if it's a woman, though. Time. I have a good time. Yeah, but think about it. <laughs> like, yeah, you had a good time, but think about it. You were prey. I, you I were preyed on. I probably was, but I probably, you right, I was preyed on. You know what I'm saying? But, to, I don't know, it's just different. You know There's saying? nothing different about it. Let's be real. Yeah. If you a predator as a man, you a predator as a woman. Yeah. You know, see, predators see, are see, predators. Your old boy got the wrong woman. Okay, so you know, let's say know, this. Let's say this. You know? Okay, let's say this. But I also First the grew, rules. But I also grew up in an era where I'm watching. You know, I know you ain't do it, but I'm watching Nisha go get in the truck. You know what I'm saying with the nigga on 28s. Mm -hmm. you know, that's 32 years old, taking her to get her hair and nails done. And Nisha uh -huh. ain't do that. I'm just. Right. It's, it's, it's all right. same, same to me. If yeah. you're a predator and you're a woman, you're a predator as well, a man. What is it? It just used to be different. That's That's my same with you. See y'all on TV. Yeah. Well, I know you do. Know. Yeah. 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 Teachers yeah. having sex with yeah. the kids. Yeah. Yes. What are you doing? What are you doing? And the thing is, is they and they gonna be loud as fuck on the woman. But they're gonna be hard as fuck on the man. They should be hard as fuck on both of them. You should've knew better. They both you are praying on a child. I think they be hard. I think they don't. I think they don't. They be hard on I think they hard on women because you know, women have kids. Women, you know, y'all delicate creatures, you know, don't get me wrong, and I'm not saying that if a woman do that to a boy, you know what I'm saying, she she shouldn't be punished neither. I'm just saying like you know, y'all emotional creature, that's gonna damage you for a long time. Me being a nigga and having an old woman, that's not gonna damage my mind and stuff like it's gonna damage hers. Cap, uh, I'm gonna keep it a band. Cause think about it. It'll be on how it Let somebody, too. like say somebody did that to you as a young age. Now you're like, oh, well say you have a kid. Oh yeah, little boy. See, I was doing this shit yeah. when I was your age. And the cycle just continues. continues. Well, my daddy did it, so why I can't do it? And, and that's the like, like, you know, my sixteen-year-old say he's smashing a grown woman. We'll see, she got a sister. I don't know. I might be and, and, and that's the thing. <laughs> like that's, when a woman, when a when a young girl do something like that, I'll be there by the door. And see, that's the problem. Head, that's the problem. It needs to be the same on the board. I don't care who you are. I respect. I respect. Like I'm, I'm so serious. Like when I say these hands are ready to for everyone. I'm like, a little sexist, you know, cause like my little bug, he, 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 I catch him in the room with chili, you know, he got 10 minutes before I tell your mama. You and see, how you feel I kept my, daughter. I would get into that. I kept my daughter on fucking everything in the and house. See, exactly. And see, so I fuck that, with yeah. you, you my homie. But that's part of the problem. Yeah. Because he you don't he treat, be fucked up, so and because he you don't treat it as equal. Predatory is predatory. You were all around the board. On me. He didn't, even even if they consented, but he I prayed on the motherfuckers. Yeah, I swear to God. So, like, that's the what thing. you gave it to her, though? Like, you know, she said, hey, cute. You still you. wasn't at the age to Pred. consent. Pred. The 16, 17. No, Pred. not in the state of Arkansas, you ain't. No, she's a predator. 18. Don't care. Like, and then a lot of 18-year-olds these days don't need to be consent neither because y'all okay, some people. Okay, you're going to have an officer to take the and the stapler. <laughs> but, you know, like, yeah. That's, yeah. that's, yeah. that's yeah. the thing, stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. They ain't going to play with you. Man, woman, transgender, unidentified. If, transgender. Oh, man. If, if, if you is fucking with someone underage, you are a predator. Point blank, period. Yeah. And then it'd be the ones that be that's, around that's your parents. They started that in the nineties, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of this, you know, I ain't gonna say like you just said, you know what I'm saying? But what old did went through in his life, he gonna teach the younger generation, it's gonna go down to the next generation, it's gonna go down to the next generation. If you think back in history though, you feel what I'm saying? And I, I was just talking, don't don't quote me for that, but they was selling off their daughters mm -hmm. to people for food and money and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And those yeah. people are predators. Yeah. yeah. So predators back then. I was then. saying, you said yeah. like that, you know, but, and that, that don't do nothing but trickle A, trickle A. Now you got these, and like they say, P. Diddy had a predator and taught him everything he know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. P. Diddy was taught by the dude that probably abused him. Yeah. That's why so I, in I his mind, that's going like, to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and that's the saddest part is it's just going to continue a downward spiral. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not saying, like, if somebody does that to you and in your mindset, you're like, okay, it's cool. It's calm because that's what happened to you. So you're like, okay, it's I don't normal. see nothing wrong with it. But still, at the end of the day, I don't care if you consent. They preyed on you. You're mm -hmm. underage. 
They preyed on it. They are over the age of 25. That means they're, I don't know, because it was like... That means their whole brain is developed. Their whole brain is developed by the time they hit 25. Because it was like, you know, I, I, ain't, I ain't spoken on you right what you're saying. You feel what I'm saying? That's scientific. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, man, hey, it's not it, man. Here in 2000, different. Like, I just walked in, a, in, a, in, a, in this person's house. Woman say to me, you know, you gotta think about it, man. You know, I don't know if, oh, how long he had his beard and stuff. You feel what I'm saying? But you know, I had mine since I was true. 12. Yeah, yeah I was like, I had shit. Since I, I always look older than what I was anyway when I was young. So me walking in at 16, 17, slightly cut up, you know, a little fat now, but slightly cut up back then. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I had my little beard and I always had this voice. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I had this voice. I remember calling the girl at 12 and getting cussed out. What grown man you got called in this house? You know what I'm saying? I, 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 would, was singing and I would call it. I would call it for her. Uh, I, I ain't even talking about singing. Yeah, singing and everything. He really, he, really, he, go, he really had something yeah, talking really about really this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, singing. Right. We lit, man. You know, see jubilation. We turned that up at 15, 16. We had a time that night. You know what I'm saying? So. And it wasn't no young folks here. We had time that night. That night? But yeah. see, like, I mean, I, you know, you do a concert, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You, know, you I know, that was, party is all day in. Which one? <laughs> it was all of y'all, Kevin. It was living there, but it was a lot of grown. That's what I'm saying. Like, we grew up, you were saying and pray. We would pray to God and stuff like, like that. Not gonna mama age. You feel what I'm grown. saying? But, like we just grew up in that time. Like I don't see, know. That's like we ain't had cell phones growing up. But see, you know like what I'm saying we didn't have computers mm -hmm. and you said, all the technology and information at mm -hmm. our fingertips. Like y'all got, you know, we didn't see it as wrong and stuff back then. We just all oh, that old nigga like me. You know, I, mean? I said uh -huh. nigga, but I was that older person, older nigga, old woman like like the him or her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We thought we were grown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. We were really on some pimping shit, our whole generation, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, if I can get this old nigga or this old woman to drop this bag off, I can get my girl something, I can get me something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we didn't look at it like, you know, they praying on us, it was more of us praying on them. Yeah. Yeah. But see, you know what I'm saying? But that's where it's bad because, yeah, y'all think, Y'all are the one that are getting all this that the yeah, third. I said no first time. But, I talked myself into it, you know. <laughs> but this is a whole thirty year old with a seventeen year old. Like that's the thing is Well she had like they were her kids like nah. Anyway, I I Or <laughs> <laughs> it'd be the ones that hung out with their parents and then they finally see you out. Yeah. Oh, uh, you done grew up. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna lie, like, baby. I used to want baby. Right. Well, that's the thing is I, I, I don't, don't care. Know. I don't yeah, I it's just me but that's like though. If you are a grown person and you can look at a child and be like, yes, there's something mentally wrong for you. And this is just me. I don't believe you should still be breathing. I didn't get to the age. Some people will literally wait for the I child got to, to the grow age up. Where you know, they shot. Yes. We are, we are, we are, and it's fucking like disgusting. 18, 18, like, I swear to God. 20 21-year-old women with, with my niggas my age. I don't like seeing that. You know and see, but like Oscar just said, we but know somebody man. who did that, who shot they shot at somebody who, when they finally became of age, they shot they yes. shot. That shit is fucking disgusting. Well, right, right, that's my niece. That's my niece right there. Don't get caught on my niece. And then it's so like, 18. Still, you, just, you just got me. You so been 18, I'm going. So I'm going to still be that 14 year old yeah. girl in your mind. I'm going to be wrong. Disgusting. Diabolical. Like, I'm, I, I don't yeah, care. If, I don't care. <laughs> like, <laughs> Beyonce. Beyonce could come out right now and say, she was messing with somebody that was underage. I don't care how good she looked, cause she looked good. You are a fucking predator as, as and don't man, deserve to have as breathing. As a man, no love man, I'm gonna stand behind you because you know what I'm saying. I be on the internet and there's a lot of older women with younger dudes and the female be like, okay, okay, ain't she got a groove back, Stella got a groove back. But let R. Kelly come out and get him a 21 year old. That's fucking gross. You feel what I'm saying? It's gross both ways. It's okay for them to do. 
Yeah, it's a problem when I do it. You feel what I'm saying? Like when a man do it, the woman doing it's a problem. And then like when a woman doing the same thing a man doing, it's it's like it's glorified. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's gross both ways. Yeah, and, and like right. you said, it, it ain't right. I ain't gonna say it's gross because I've been in it and it was, it was a beautiful experience, yeah. you know. But so. it it may have been a beautiful like don't get me wrong. If I could have slept with some of my teachers, I would have. Yeah. Like I'm gonna say that right now. There were some fine ass teachers that if I could have, it would have I would have. But I would have been preyed upon. I would have been taken grown, advantage me, of. Me being a grown man, I definitely understand where you're coming from. Me being a 17 year old boy, I'm disagreeing with you. Too. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? like the old. The fact that you just said I would have. Yeah, exactly. the old Logan. Yeah, we got to cut it all out the window because yeah, I, I'm doing it. Yeah, the old so Logan. Don't get me wrong. Do it. There are some no. teachers like if I could have, I would have. But being older, looking back at it, that there's no way I can defend that now. Still a teacher out there, so you can get it. She probably would put her out there. Old and decrepit. She got a cane and everything. Let's hope. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. You might have to do some work about it. But like, I can admit that, yeah, absolutely. I would have at that time been like, oh, hell yeah, I'm the shit. I'm fucking this teacher. I'm this, this, this. We used to call her third when she pulled up you. But then yeah. being being 22 <laughs> now, looking back at it, I'm like, I really would have been taken advantage of. And yeah, I would have thought I was the shit, but what would have happened if I got that teacher pregnant? Mm -hmm. Now you ruin her career, ruin your life, and all this shit. Your life wouldn't be able to ruin her. Yeah, she would have to jail. Yeah. But you have a kid at 17, 16. You, you would have had raised the baby. So there's another yeah, thing you know, like, I don't know, like, we just grew up in that area. Yeah. You know, it didn't. See, it it was grade, motherfucker, pregnant. Oh my soul! But see, so my gener but my generation is well, nothing different. We we still want to be on that type of shit. You still have like fucking celebrities. Like I'll, I'll point out a, a good one. Brad Pitt will be with these twenty one year olds, or Leonardo DiCaprio. His cutoff age is twenty five. I'm sorry, bro. I get it. Oh no, you said. What you mean to cut out? Like he don't get he no. He won't go anyone older than twenty five. He's the same. What you saying, my bad. You are in your forties. Yeah. I don't care if they're over the age of eighteen. Look at that. You're in your forties. This motherfucker was in diapers when you already had a career. Oh man, that oh. shit is gross. I feel like I'm gonna say it like this, Logan. Twenty one and younger. You know what I'm saying? That's no. Nah, don't do them like that. Let them kids go to school. Let them grow up and all that. But. 22, you a grown man. You know what I'm saying? You make your own decisions in life. You choose what you want to do in life. You feel what I'm saying? You mm -hmm. go to work, make your own money, pay your own bills, your own rent. Mm -hmm. And if she, if you see an old woman, you want her, you shoot your shot, she go. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I go. You know what I mean? You can't say, you know, because you grown now. You know what I mean? I understand you saying hey, it'd be different. Like, you know, like with my situation, I didn't know this woman. This woman ain't know me. We just so happened to come in the same room together and she like what she see. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And she shot her shot and I shot mine back. And then it happened. That's how it happened. You know what I'm saying? We got the rapping and that's how it happened. And see those. So the 22 year old, the 22 being a 22 year old woman, and you see this nigga over here with bread. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he grown. You and, you know, they had this conversation, baby. You young enough to be my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing you can do for me. And you know what I'm saying? This 22 year old, I see it. Why? You know, woo, 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 woo. I can't talk like no one, but you know what I'm saying? Woo, woo, woo to you. Nah, no, I want to be with you because you already you play a scene. Scene. know what you want. Well, she, I, 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 well, she, she could hit me up, get my mind right, put me on boss mode. Yeah. And how the time she gets you So I'm not with them. They not together. They just fucking in and he putting on game. I, I guarantee most of the women that he done slept with and done something with make, make a nice little something change mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. You feel what I'm saying? They go back to a lot, in, of, in a lot of these room. women want up. They want not hunk them. them. You know what I'm saying? They don't even want y'all. Mm -hmm. They won't honk in them. Mm -hmm. And it ain't man, it's like go back to what we was talking about in the beginning, you know what I'm saying? When when you talk about leading and stuff. You can't lead her, you know what I'm saying, because you ain't got enough money. But Uncle over there, he got enough bread. You know what I'm saying? He mm -hmm. got enough bread to take her shopping, you know, get her hair and nails done. So she gonna listen to everything what I'm talking about. And she I'm gonna upgrade her because he's yep. tired of paying. It's yep. a bill to him. Yep. So if I can put her on game and get her in nursing school, take care of while she in nursing school, you know what I'm saying? She 
Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I see where you, me yeah. being grown, I'm investing in them. Mm-hmm. A lot of people do that. You and see, I see saying? where you're coming from. And uh-huh. her being young, she thinks she in love. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And see, that's the problem, though. And like, don't get me wrong, I see where you're coming from. And like, I see it in my generation now. But that's the problem is you get these young people who are like, oh, this is love. But then you have the more mature, older people that are like, this is a transaction. That's all it is. Like I'm about to I, I still I still see that as predatory because if you know this girl's thinking is love and you not like it would be different if like say oh it's like nah this is simply transaction. There's no love in this, there's no nothing. But that he, goes back to having that buck. conversation. He kept it a buck. But if say uh oh does this and she thinks it's love, he's like, Oh yeah, baby, it is. It's this, this, this. But it's not. He's being a predator. He's still preying on that person. Granted, this person is over the age of 18. This person can make their own decisions. Whoop, whoop. Good on you. Live your life, baby. I'm not saying you can't. But. Most men in their 40s, they dating a young girl. That, that's what it is. It's fun to them. The, old, the young girl is fun to her. She got her um Oh, got a niece. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, as long, but as long as you know that's all it is. But I understand what you're saying over the prayer. I understand what you're saying when you're praying on a young girl and stuff like you were saying, like, y'all yeah, said, aunt wait until she turned 18. That's, mm-hmm. that's praying on them. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But me just going to the club, having a good time. I'm into it. Me and my wife just got a divorce. My mental ain't right. You know what I'm saying? This 22 year old, like what she see, she like the salt and pepper. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? She see me over here buying a drink after drink. She come, hey, can I get a drink? She a beautiful young lady. You know, I'm a real nigga, huh? Yeah, hey. Get what she drinking, you feel what I'm saying? I'm drunk, we get to rapping, I done smash, you feel what I'm saying? Like, that ain't, that ain't crap, nope. No, no that's and see, not, and that's, see, that's, that's not. That's not. Different ways. And really that's not. And, I, you know, just, you out shopping, boom, I bumped into you, you and, know what I'm saying? I see something good. But we you have a, to. You a, a man, you know, we supposed to go out and find, you know what I'm saying? A lot of women out here looking, but they looking for their husband, mm-hmm. but. And, and the word in the Bible, so we supposed to go find that wife. Be the chaser. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? So. I might see something beautiful outside, man. You know, the hormones are different in y'all generation than it was our generation. It was like bitches that had no ass when we were growing up. Nah, yeah. They were small, slim, look at Leah, Kelly, all them motherfuckers, they were slim. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm out and I see a motherfucker ass fat as fuck, titties on point, you know what I'm saying? And she she bad as fuck and I just, uh, woo, woo, what up? I'm not praying on her. But I'm just saying something like that. That's when we need to make it a point to understand what praying is and what not like people will ruin both of we those ain't never gonna death. figure that out in today's age mm-hmm. and the next generation that it's just gonna continue to do what it's gonna do because yeah. what I you mean, were saying that's not praying that's having fun it what i consider praying is like the p diddies like when they they're growing them they constantly like yeah. this 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 and what then we know when you finally end or the one person we know you you with this person, you you treat them as family. Then when they become of age, hey, I got feelings for you. Yeah, weird as fuck. Good, you know, weird as fuck. Like yeah, that. That's what. Watch me the whole time. That's what I feel like. like my people yeah. needs to be well, broke. To see you. Because <laughs> yeah, and I wasn't available. Because like that's that's my biggest thing is that's what I see is praying. Like I've seen too many people in Hollywood. Like oh, perfect example, yeah. R. Kelly. Like don't hey, get me wrong. Hey, hey, we talk about somebody else. Oh, Bill Cosby. <laughs> New subject. Bill Cosby, R. Kelly. R. Kelly. Perfect example, though. That, 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 I, don't, I, I don't remember what the girl name was. Yeah, but was. That was on the parents. It was on the parents. And, and it is the parents' fault. But it's on the parents, period. It is. But you also got to understand. I'm not going to tell you my daughter so well. This person be. was apparently his protege. Coming up in the music industry with him, nothing but a manager. And then y'all turn around... And now y'all are in a secret relationship. Man. Granted, the parents let it happen. So the parents are as much to blame as R. Kelly is. I'm not saying the parents have nothing to do with it because the parents are at fault too. But you mean to tell me this grown man was supposed to be this girl's manager. They with each other 24 seven. And then you happen to tell me. If you go back though, if you go back though, you got to think about it. R. Kelly grew up when he was younger. Yeah, he got molested. No, I ain't just not. I ain't hold on for for I'm going. I want to talk about that. Too. You, you gotta look at it. Back when he was young, he about what fifty, about 50, 60 now. 
You feel what I'm saying? That was what was going on then. I'm going to give my daughter to you. Mm -hmm. You're going to give me this back. Yeah. And that's a bad cycle. Yeah, this to me though, the parents of them little girls though grew up in that area. Same you know, exact you feel area. What I'm saying? To them, that, that was so that's normal. Me getting you my daughter, and that's just like today's day. That's the information, the knowledge at your fingertips. Yeah. Everybody learns how you know, like you said, uh you said something about you gotta learn the difference between uh hollering at a female and uh, grooming and whatever. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Yeah. That's the same difference. But we you only know learn no, that from what you see. We didn't Until know now no you can look then. it up. You feel what I'm saying? That's why but all this stuff then, coming out now. Yeah. Know, and all these niggas getting charged for what they did but back then. But back then they could only learn from what they saw. But I'm in that situation like this. If I'm in that situation, like you said how the things were going back then, they would give it to me like this. Like they was giving out women to marry just me and out of nowhere. If that's going on, and I ain't having no problem with it, and you keep giving them women to me like they're your daughter or whatever, you think I'm gonna stop? No. Mm -hmm. no. I mean, I like realistically, I no. I can give you some more money. Yeah. There you go. I ain't never gonna stop. But, At the end of the day, and and that's when I feel fun. like the parents also need to be charged because it's their, it's y'all did like granted. R. Kelly's not the only one to blame in this. Bill Cosby's not the only one to blame in this. Uh, Harvey Weinstein's not the only one to blame in this. Everybody that's come out as a predator, there is always someone else that you have to blame. But my biggest thing is what what in the world makes it okay as a parent to turn your eye, to turn your back if you know this is happening to your kid? Like that's what doesn't make me understand, and that's why I'm like. Man, you never understand these folks, never. man. Oh, that was, that was you got that like mm -hmm. crack babies yes. and stuff. You feel what I'm saying? We ain't, I ain't talking about sex no more. That man grew up with mama crackhead, dad ain't in the house. You know what I'm saying? He said crack, make it make sense. Yeah. I mean, it, it all goes back to what you see. What you grew up in. But you got to be willing to change. Yeah. That's what you see. Like that you goes said, right back to the therapy. You got to learn it. We could have stopped this. And, and see, to break the generation of the curses. Right up, the generation and like you, curses. and like y'all were saying, R. Kelly was molested, mm -hmm. and it just brought out a vicious cycle that he was comfortable with and just continued. Yeah. And like that's the thing is, he did it all of them the same. All thing. of them, and, um, and like I think everybody should go to jail. R. Kelly should get to come home. You know, make some more music. You know, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, I ain't never gonna stop listening. Right, but here we go. Okay, everybody, everybody a musical genius. Yeah. Yes. You watched the uh, the live or the video with the poly. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying we ain't had many women around at the time. What was your take on it? Um, What's your thoughts on it? There are good and bad things. I've been in a, in a poly before. And <laughs> for the video. And, okay. and this is how I feel about it. The benefits of it. For one, if it's three people, that means I don't have to cook every day. I mean I ain't gotta wash the dishes every day. Mm -hmm. It's always somebody at the house with the kids so we don't have to pay for daycare. There's two or three incomes coming in because somebody can be a stay at home husband or wife, wife. But you still gotta be doing something to bring some income. It's an empire, yep. but everybody has everybody to have has that to have understanding. That you can't have this person getting jealous of this person when they kick it. Hell, some days it might be me and him kick it, me and her kick it, them kick it. Some days it might be all three of us. Hell, me personally, I like you, but I don't. Hell, we can all be in the same room. We ain't even got to talk. Mm -hmm. Type shit, but yep. people got to understand that. It has to be an understanding. And I think that's what go wrong with a lot of polys nowadays. There's not enough understanding. There's not enough communication. Yes, and then people want to put rules on stuff. If if he our nigga, that mean when we go to the nail, when if he paying for your nails, he need to pay for mine too. Mm -hmm. That mean if he paying for our nails, we gonna pay for his haircut. Hell, so niggas wanna go get their feet did too. Uh, it ain't nothing wrong with a nigga getting the manicure. Uh, Hell, uh, he gonna uh, probably paint your picture anyway. So right. shit, that, that's that's you. Don't throw your pH balance off. <laughs> but it's all about an understanding. I knew my poly wasn't gonna work because we told a motherfucker, you gotta go get your kid. You over trying to be a stepmama. But you ain't doing for y'all. But you ain't got your own kids. Oh, and that's, that's, that's tough. Y'all ain't, ain't, ain't throwing. Shame on you! Y'all trying to put our own. Trying to motivate her to be a better relationship. You gotta be teachable. We yeah. yes, 
You got some things you can't come, come in and be A1 here if you ain't A1 with what you already got. But you can't come in here. Yeah. You ain't got no income. That's just like coming but you want a fucking block. Yeah. That's just like going into any relationship. If you take Polly out, yeah. I met Nisha and she ain't got all her shit together, but we got a great connection. I'm a, my first instinct. You're going to motivate man, her to be better. I, I'm gonna try to motivate her to be better. That's just like we in a pilot and we get this woman and she ain't on her square. We gotta get her on her square to yeah. be last in this yeah. well, I was Now meaning, she not yeah. willing to change and have an understanding. That's yeah. when the problem gonna kick her to the curb, get your nut. Yeah, but like Nisha said, if she was coming in trying to raise their kids and all that and you ain't doing it for your own, why would you I sure even you want got, you around? Sure you got it by doing but, that. You, you, like, now I need you to do I need you to do it for yours. Yeah. I need you to do it for yours. Yeah. I appreciate it. But see, this is the thing, though. You teaching this person. You know yeah. what I'm saying? She probably ain't got that knowledge. She probably come over here trying to please y'all. You know what I'm saying? And getting the kids is something that pleases y'all. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So now, like, all right, I see she got potential to be a great mother. You know what I'm saying? Now I got to dig into her situation. Of why she ain't, or why she ain't a great mother to her, her child. I get where you're saying? coming from. It's so just... now I gotta try to fix her and her child relationship. Because you never know. That's why, you know, I got a problem with Nicole. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's a big problem, me and Nicole. We we got each other blocked right now. You know what I mean? I I talked to Nicole through my daughter. You feel me? So that's something I gotta work on. If you come in my relate, you know, come into my life and you say you wanna be with me, you already know my situation. The first thing you gonna do is try to solve this problem. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna step on my toes because you, we all you know, just come together and have a you have feel a me? Yeah. You're yeah. gonna try to solve this issue. Yeah. You're gonna see what the issue is first. Why do you feel like this? Why do you feel like that? Like, you but if it's so, so, a, a lot of times it don't work because people can't have an uncomfortable conversation. That part. The That's uncomfortable part. conversation yes. makes you stronger. Yes. Yes. Get through them and then it makes you stronger. Yes. Like, yes. Are you talking shit about me? No, I'm not. It ain't about you, so no, I'm not. This, is, not this is what I feel. If it's okay, it's not talking shit about you. If I can show proof that you're not taking care of your fucking kid, but you over here trying to be. Mother of the year, mom. To me, that's what? the issue. Yeah. Let's go with your fucking baby. But that's like I said, I seen that we weren't going to last yeah. because of this. Mm -hmm. yes. you know, she never spoke and said she didn't try to fix it or try to help the woman out. She yeah. just said she said it was a problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a problem when I say it. But when a nigga said it, are you down for it? Yeah. Oh, so there, there, yes. But see, that's the big problem. When I too. said it, she got an attitude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When our okay. nigga. Brought it to her. She was on Lovey Dovey oh, and understood. Okay. I understand. Yeah. Well, well, that ain't gonna work yeah. either. Yeah, I, mm. I ain't no mm. Mm. I'm cutting it dry. I understand, I understand, you. I understand what you're coming we from as a woman. Right now. Woman, woman, y'all, women, y'all. I understand where y'all coming from. I ain't knocking what you're saying. I ain't saying you're right or wrong. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But when you get into a pilot and you're in a relationship with a man, you know what I'm saying? That man, I don't give a damn, is gonna be the lead. He's gonna be the head. She gonna pay attention to this nigga more than she gonna pay attention to you because that is the way that our genes are set up. You get what I mean? I don't know if I'm saying it right. Here. That's how our genes are set up. We're created to lead, protect, and provide. Y'all are here to nurture. You know what I'm saying? Assist and love and all that stuff. You know, y'all give us emotions because a lot of times you meet a nigga ain't got no emotions, mm -hmm. and you come into that man's life and give him emotions. Yeah, but so. She go, I'm not saying it's yeah. right and I'm not saying it's wrong, but what I'm saying is she might have been the type of woman that, that take lead from a man and not from a woman. You know, she she looked at you as her equal partner mm -hmm. in the pleasing him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So her mind when she came into this relationship was more of you and me and you, we partner. You my nigga, tag, it's your turn tonight, babe. I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you feel, I'm just keeping it band though. You know, she tired, she tags you in. You feel what I'm saying? But everything is pleasing him. That's what she was looking at. She kind of helped you please him. You just a plus. You know what I'm saying? That's probably how that woman came I mean, to I get, so, I get so where you're coming from. But my question would be coming from a woman. But really, that would you feel better? Would you feel good hearing it from another woman before the dude comes in to you? Yeah, because as a woman, she already has kids, so I'm gonna take her lead because she's already got the kids. She's already the one raising the kids, really. The man, like you, y'all had said earlier, the man wants to work, wants to do all this, wants to support, wants you know financially. So I'm gonna take from her. She's already raising the kids, so why should I take from? Oh yeah, babe, you doing this wrong? This is what we need to do? No, that woman, I respect her more than I respect the man on it because she's already doing it. 
you you a different breed though. I have, I'm gonna say it like that. Y'all a different breed. You got you got a man. You know, you, oh man, you know I'm looking for a woman. I've been looking for women all my life. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. All my life. I'm but in my it. situation, so finding I a woman. Go for, but exactly. finding a woman. No, I ain't talking about that. Yeah. Woman, but finding a woman, you know what I'm saying? See, it's the same thing with you saying. I'm looking for a woman that's gonna please me. I understand you saying you the one who got the woman, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it shouldn't all happy. be about pleasing yeah, you and making exactly. you happy. It's and then when he said it to all three of them. He said exactly. it actually. I was nice. See, that's what I'm saying. You want to hear it. I was that. nice. But yeah. see, that, that could be a. And being nice I'm always trying to. Because it's like if I can't say it. Like, yeah, what I'm saying. I was nice. <laughs> he feels like he has a good mom. Yeah, he feels. Maybe because you was nice, she didn't listen to you. I said, well, let's go get your baby this weekend. I'm saying, but because you said it nicely. Then we can do something. Because you said it nicely, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, she I didn't take heed to it. Am I supposed to be the dude and the one at the same time? I know what y'all was going to do. So I told you. You got three people in a relationship, they go back to what you first started. Everybody got to sit down and have an understanding. You feel what I'm saying? If you don't never get this understanding in this pilot, it's always gonna be a problem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just things like yeah. that. Like, damn, bitch, I told you that a while ago. Why the fuck yeah, you yeah. listen to me? The you reason know what why I'm I saying? didn't want to go work was because shit, you come in, you don't have a job. I got a job, he hustle. No, yeah. right, like, oh, okay. You coming in, you saying you just gonna be in this motherfucker turn it up. No, and see, that's my that's my problem. <laughs> a bitch like me, if I go oh. out and hustle, baby, I need you to come to work with me in the morning. You yeah. already do the gang. I got you already your got your job right now. We finna go get your uniform. When you go to work in the morning, you gonna do everything. But see, that was my problem too because I work O works, and baby, I'll work two or three jobs because I know the lifestyle I like. I know the lifestyle he like. And oh, girl, girl, I got you today. I get you hired tomorrow. Oh no, I can't do that. What? But then you mean? can't do nothing for me, baby. I'm sorry. I need to see something in you too. But you got to be able to do something. Because if that's the case, if you don't want to work, that means when we come home, we, we I should have, have the everything, everything I need. Should have to cook. Then it falls I should off. have to come home and just wash my ass and sit that's the fuck down. That but it home. wasn't even like I that. I get sick. That's my part. Down right here. We're going to keep us float. You just, you just focusing on one person to keep us float? That ain't. But I go back to having to sit down. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And having an understanding and putting people in position. You got to have a position in this relationship yes. with all three of us. Yep. It's already a position for you. Mm -hmm. It's already a position for him. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, what do we need out this woman? Yep. I you think that saying? was a big problem for me, you know, because I'm already. I well, let her go and get a job and working. I'm so too outspoken. Have, you know I mean? And I know what I can bring to, to the take table. Take some of the burdens off of yeah. us. Yeah. You can't just like oh can see the potential of anybody, it. and I don't. Yeah. And if I'm I, not I'm seeing the same thing as O, but if I can't see what O sees, and I like O would see all the good things, but I would be sitting here telling him, look, I can tell you right now this, this, and this, and I was like, no, no, give it time. And then when it all fell on the floor, I, I tried to tell you five weeks ago, <laughs> I didn't see this, this, and this. This is what I'm telling you I see, and you're like, no, no. And then now you caught feelings, and now we're as sitting a, here like this. But as a person like O, when we see the good in people, and we see, I would. It's something I learned. I had to go through it. Same thing y'all just had to yeah. go through it and learn. I told T, everybody, you can't make everybody a boss. Mm -hmm. They got to want it. You can't make everybody a, a, a partner. You know what I'm saying? They got to want it. Yeah. They got to be able to want that shit. And if, that, way, that go back to what I said earlier. I want motherfuckers to love my fucking draws. You know what I'm saying? So she love my fucking draws, and this motherfucker love my first draw. We gonna sit down and have this understanding. Go back to what I said. Have to sit down, get a fucking understanding. That's your position. That's what I need mm -hmm. you to do. You know what I'm saying? When we get home, me and her working right now. You're not working. And until you find a job, this is what I need from this you. Your role. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Once you find a job, we'll come back to this table and come up with a new solution yeah. and how everything can work together. But you also, that's just like in just, in a, just two households with two people. You know what I'm saying? You got to have that sit down and conversation because everybody changes every five years. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be the same person you was five years ago, mm -hmm. let alone 10. But one of yeah. the biggest things I could never understand, period, is how you in a position to put the next person here and they don't want it. A lot of people don't want it. A lot of people well, they like to be I'm talking about at. like job wise, you ain't got nothing. They like to be in their right. I got 40 lined up for you. All of them good to put you in a way better place. Oh, it's gonna be Why you don't want to leave Well, I don't want to work there because I don't want to ride. I don't want to work there because it's cold. I, I don't want to work there because of the hours. Me and I don't get it. Me and Saul agree on this. 
because not everyone wants to be a boss. Everybody wants a hand up. They don't want to work for it like y'all have. They want you to simply just give it to them. Yep. And my biggest thing is is some people I feel like who get in poly relationships, that's the only reason they do. Oh, these two motherfuckers are going to do all the job. Yep. All I got to do is just be the third Man. and, you know, do a little freak shit yeah, every now and then. I come yeah. from around people with money. Money thrown at me anything. They feel good. But you know what felt better? When I got in a position to do that myself, Work to know it's coming and know I did that, mm -hmm. I like you give me time. money, I go do this, I'm gonna throw it away because I don't give a fuck about it. Swear to God, I didn't yeah. do this. They gotta be cut off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I felt like, you know, growing up, I felt like I was supposed to be handed shit. You know what I mean? I'm the child, I got everything. You know what I'm saying? You supposed to give me this. I shouldn't have to do this. I shouldn't have to do that. Cause, you know, I had a rule breaking at, at a young age. I, I got put out for buying a car. You know, I wasn't bought for buying a car. You don't remember? You feel what I'm saying? I got put out the house behind it. You know, I slept on a park bench. And I, I had a nigga in Omaha give me a place to stay as long as I went to school type shit. You feel what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Sometimes you just gotta be cut out from everything and have to understand how it's time to boss up. Mm -hmm. To bring that hustle out, but I always been a hustler. Even when I was at my mom and dad's house, I always cut yards. Yeah, right that was that person. I was yeah, always okay. trying to get some money. And the singing shit was all about money. You know, Nick said multi million dollars. Sign me up. What I got to do, boss? You know what I'm saying? Like, sign me up. Let me get that. You could have met Diddy. Nah, I could. I made my money. <laughs> 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 I met R. Kelly. Your best friend. Mom and daddy. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the records. They don't keep the phone. They're buddy buddies. Birds of a feather fly together. Our Kelly friend right now, they did he come in his. Birds of a feather fly together. Swear to God. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. They're going to come out with some hits, baby. Back back to the the body stuff, though. But, yeah. I, I get everything you were saying. Poly relationship, good. I, I really want yes. to be, be in one with, with four women. Me too. Four, three women. I want a man and two bitches. <laughs> I want two bitches. Like like <laughs> the thing about it, though, you know, and it's something I gotta, I gotta do on my own is do, become more. I guess we'll say more. Spit it out. He's struggling. <laughs> more what? Emotional. Yeah, because you've always been. You hold that. I yeah. gotta be more. I'm always, I'll, I'm an emotionally intelligent person. I can tell you my emotions. I just don't know how to you show, show my them. emotions. You know what I'm saying? Like, you'll see my face and I'd be happy and you'd be like, nigga, you look like you really, you know what I'm saying? Open motherfucker ass type shit. I got an RDL too. People be swearing I'm mad. Yeah. And I'm time. This damn bitch you had again. This is just my little face. face. Yeah, let's just right right right. I'm really this happy. This is my little face. But they, they come remember. from they come from you know being disappointed out your life too. You Swear always got that blank look. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even when you're happy, you still looking for the wrong that's coming that's behind you. you know it's also true to follow. It's also a safety mechanism because me personally, I've been fucked over too many times where Man. I'm like, I don't even want to show you emotion. Mm -hmm. Like it's, if I show it's you, I'm happy. Thing. I know I'm gonna be yeah. sad. Yeah, you know, you got a lot of motherfuckers throw that shit back in your face. You be open with that person, and then that person just so does they get mad. So does they get mad. Then that's gonna make me like you between the lines of your eyes and head block. I would love how I lost two girls. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would love the two to three women. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like one of my things is I gotta be more of that leader. I gotta be more. I was always, I, I'm gonna let you do what you wanna do. That lets me know how you move and how you really move. But well, you can be a leader that way too. That's a leader too. But you know what I'm saying? A lot of people ain't got well, my problem, I let too much slide. That's where it's at. It creates a bigger problem when you let all that stuff slide because it's built up and then you, they lose respect for you. You know, all that. So that would be where I would be at. I Come up on my leadership, my leadership and then they let you slide. See, that'll be me. All right, what he just, all what he just said, I learned. No, well, we, we talked about yeah. it in the car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What you talking about in the car? <laughs> yeah, like we at the red table now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that's my biggest part right there. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. my like, biggest part that I put on myself. Is that right? I don't there. broadcast like if a motherfucker don't hurt me. I don't. I don't broadcast what they done did. Yeah. Like, I'm just gonna let you pay me out to be the bad person. The bad person. Like, I'll, I'll be the bad. I'll, I'll take all that. Yeah. But the people that was really around me, they 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 they, they, they know the real. Yeah. 
you they and they gonna say no nah, you can't bash my sister you can't bash my homegirl you can't bash my motherfucking cousin because baby i have facts mm -hmm. type shit I, I, that's why even though i had over. facts even though i had facts it's like i could have went to a therapy session but I, that's what i needed you know i laid it down here and i'm like man you know then i learned everything don't need a reaction you know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm like, you know, now, now, yeah. I ain't got nothing to say about it. And don't, you know, don't put our business on social media. Yeah. Yeah. Every, don't, every time you get mad, don't write yes. your book. Don't put it on social yeah. media. Don't get drunk and go through the motherfucking town. But see, that was the big thing. I be showing that on social media. I don't got to see your post yeah. nothing. Not no more. Yeah, but I mean, not no more. I still slide some shit out. I still slide some shit out. Yeah, I'm one of them niggas. I like social media. There's one time, you know, I was hurt. I let it out and then I was like, you know, I should have did that. I apologize. But I ain't gonna tell you. I understand you can type it out, but don't post it. Cause yeah. all you're doing is giving them a show. They don't yeah. give a fuck. Yeah, that's exactly, <laughs> what, that's, right. that's exactly what it is, though. You giving them a show. You giving them a show. I'm a mean. They don't be trying to get friction in y'all relationship. I'm a real share. Real share. I'm gonna tell you the whole truth. Yeah. I feel and one of them things is when, like, that's one of them things where, like, you know, I know I'm done. If a certain song has a certain lyric. Ooh, I know people like that. I told, oh. Girl, why you don't post 98 snaps talking about your relationship and shit? People can't handle the truth. No. I told. No, but see, that's the problem too, though. But that's why I always where it's been at. If I'm if I'm gonna talk about it, I got the facts with it. You know what I'm saying? Period. And I told O, oh, and and it's true. Every song that I post on my snap has a reason why I posted it. Like every lyric, everything that it says, there's a reason why I, I posted. It. I had posted some shit and got 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 in trouble. Got in trouble pretty much recently. They said them locks came out. Nah, that, that was a long time ago. <laughs> 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 hey, I posted seeing, hey, you know, she said something to me, you know what I'm saying? I just, I'm like, man, you know, social media, you know, everybody use social media for an outlet. Yep. You know what I'm saying? For comedy, work, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Stress. You know, man, we all looking for validation, you know what I'm saying? Attention and stuff like that. What you use social media for? You feel me? Whether it's to get your attention, her attention, their the attention, his attention. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But see, Everybody then you got it. them attention hungry motherfuckers. Like, um, me. I, oh, if don't nobody know we together on the book or anywhere, then how are we together? Like, some of the people, you know, people meet up with, oh, you ain't gonna post me. But when I do, now it's a problem because so and so found out I'll, and all oh, your feelings hurt. Well, then what do you I'll want? I'm gonna be one post a motherfucker because I don't know what a motherfucker doing. I'm gonna post whatever I want. I post. promise that's you. Because, and that's because, in fact, that. If I'm messing with you and we rocking, I ain't scared that minute. Yeah. Yeah. But to me, that's my, my that's my I ain't gonna also, you. Also, you don't know what somebody else is already, yeah. but yeah, to me, yeah, that's mine. What, what uh, now what come out, say what come out after this? So this your man right here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's mine. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna see yeah. the side of this, right. this, this is my exactly. biggest pain. I just feel like with the social media, man, if you keep your relationship private. Yeah. Have a better no. Yes and no, because if you can post your relationship drama, you can post that person too. Oh, man. When I get mad and I'm gonna throw it to the book, who you mad at? If you no. But it's the thing. Soon when you post something on social media, everything come out. Prime example: when me and my wife, shout out to Aaron, hey. the realest. When me and Aaron Check. posted. <laughs> when me and Aaron posted that we was in a relationship. Pick on people coming from everywhere, yep. trying to tell her stuff. Yep. Not knowing that she had literally been keeping me for the past month. Mm -hmm. No, we are not in a relationship with best friends. But I know before we got together, we was in the car. Yeah, like, before we got together. Soon when we posted, it, no cap. Five people. Her exes, my exes. Yeah. They trying to tell me something about her. They trying to tell her stuff about me, not knowing that we had been kicking it for a month. I already know all this. So she knew everything. Nine times out of ten, when you was texting her, I was texting you yep. back. Yeah. Yep. When you was texting yep. me, she yep. was texting you yep. back. Yep. So you can't tell her nothing. Nothing at all. You gonna be like, but who the fool? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like I just feel like, man, you know, I I should have posted motherfucker. Everybody know who the fuck I'm with. You know what I'm saying? No secret. I feel like I shouldn't have to post some motherfucker. But sometimes it's no. What's the problem with posting her? Sometimes I post on her birthday. 
Why I gotta be a special occasion? Why yeah. I can't a long time, be a long time. I like to brag on my woman, oh, and I just like to say, "Hey, this is my woman, bam." It can, and you ain't got a post. You know. But Saul already said he don't show emotions like that, so I can understand where he coming from. But so that's woman, a big deal for you when you post yeah. up, and she know that. Mm. Does she know that? What's a big deal? I don't care. It's just about like, yeah, but like, the females like, care. Like, that's right. what I'm saying. That's that's right, something like this. You. you know, you you put a person through certain certain trauma and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm posting you, I'm posting you on the wall, I'm posting on your wall, and then some bullshit happening in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like that. And now I'm like. Let me go snatch your shit off your wall right quick. All right, I ain't gonna. I'm, I'm gonna cut back. I ain't gonna do it. Yep. And then you get back good, and then the shit happen again. And you've been posting and stuff, you know what I'm saying? You're like, damn, I'm already putting my pride and shit to the side to be with a motherfucker. You really got me out here looking retarded. Mm -hmm. People you know don't always have something to say, though. So, so I'm right, fucking you. He ain't you know worried. Me. I know. You know me. And everything is a roller coaster. So you gonna have like, good days, you gonna have bad days. Why do I gotta keep posting you when you keep doing fucked up shit? Swear to God. I, I will agree that's, with That's I, understandable. But at the same time, you know what I'm good saying? Good outweigh the bad? Like, the good. Was the good always that way? He ain't give me. Ain't get, I, you want a haircut? Seeing like that was getting posted, and then my funny means that's all I posted. I don't know. I I hope people don't take my Facebook serious and my social media. I don't serious. see you on the Facebook. I don't be serious about I shit. I be just be posting. I, shit. I, I, somebody else said. 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 Oh, 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 well, we're best friends, but yeah. my my situation is different. A lot of people got I yeah, like all, all, all different situations. Mutual friends, I always say mutual. Just friends. like we're saying, just like we're saying. Some people do it because they on their sneaky shit. So I will, I will admit, huh. like I do agree with Saul on that, like because that those two know. I was with this one girl for three months. Yeah. Never posted her, but they knew I was with her, and she turned <laughs> right around and would have made me look stupid. So then I'm like, in the back of my head, I'm like, I'm glad I didn't post you because you would have just made me look like a dumbass. Yeah, yeah. I get them situations too. I get them friends. friends too. Yeah. I just want the people out there here. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little loud wallet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> friends. There you go. There you go. Add me on Facebook, Nisha Boo Watson. Turn up. I will. Add me on Snap, Rumble, Queen, Nancy, Take a shot. I didn't get my praise. I Nah, I'll say We're friends. Time. We're friends. About time. I'm both of them. I'm both of them. See, I, I ain't gonna lie. I just accepted one of them. But I. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. But I like that's the thing is like I do agree with Saul because I was with a girl for three months and they knew about her, but no one on social media knew. I never posted. her. Yeah. And private life is the best. Life never, so never did nothing. Head. And and to to even make your point even better. If I would have posted her, it would have turned right around and made me look stupid. Cause she, after what she did, she did me dirty. She fucking ghosted me and shit. With this girl for three months, then you ghost me. I would have looked dumb as fuck. That's why you should have posted her, cause everything would have came out the woodwork. Exactly. You would have known before you wasted your three months. Yeah, yeah but three I months. I would have posted her about three months. Everything would have came out. Three months, I ain't posted shit. I'm gonna be real. Three months, I ain't posted shit. Oh, I'm gonna post them. All right, so I can see who fit to hop in my inbox. I'm not. not I'm gonna need to know the yeah. first ninety bitches. The first ninety yeah. days, a motherfucker supposed to be getting rid of that's that. That's probation they, period. Yeah, they supposed to be getting rid of shit they got going. No, on when we agree to go to social media, that means we losing all our hoes right then together. That's, that's why. That's why he. Uh, that's why he. Uh, we losing all I'm our hoes right now. I, I want to be close them together. Whatever, whatever happened before this. It's cool. Before we decided to say, okay, we're we're together. I got nine days before I get some pussy. I want to be on your Facebook. Ain't nothing wrong with dating. Ain't nothing wrong with dating. Nine days before I get some pussy. We got nine days. We're gonna put that shit on social media so we can lose all our hoes together. So then whatever happens after that. Oh, you supposed to be man. doing. You supposed to be getting rid of your hoe during the talking stage. You want, anyway. I mean, no, sometimes no, you don't even. You, you ain't got my hoe, but you're gonna no, want. Sir. I want to be on your Facebook. Why am I getting rid of get rid of my hoe during the talking stage? I ain't saying get rid of, but you supposed to be starting to. Like, off. 
linger away from me. Oh, yeah, they don't know. They're in the talking stage. Well, my people ask. Talk, my thing is, somebody, if you talk to somebody and it's getting the, serious, when it started getting serious with this, like I'm talking to I'm talking to Gwen, I'm talking to Nisha, I'm talking to D. You feel what I'm saying? I got three bitches I'm talking to excuse my language, don't whoop my ass because I'm bitch yeah. I can fight. You know what I'm saying? That's the term right here and I can fight too. You're right. Me, me, and, me, and D, me and D conversation going, you know, we going on dates more. We mm. we, we talking more. And she the one I'm on the phone with at nighttime before I go to bed. I'm starting to feel this motherfucker. I'm gonna start getting distance with y'all. From too. everybody else. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm not saying cut y'all out because she might fuck up. And I gotta, you know, come back to. I gotta chit chat you up a little more. Yeah, yeah. I gotta right. come back. I gotta come back now, G. Because I'm gonna be a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Some people feel some type of way and be like, all right, I won't do this. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't want to be with your friend on Facebook, but you got this chick, this chick, this chick liking all your stuff. To me, they competition. I, I, need, I need them gone. I don't like that shit. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers be talking about bad. liking that hard. Man, this face. To me, this face. Like to me, this face. Well, you want them gone, fuck it. As long as a motherfucker ain't in your personal space and they can't show me pictures, y'all lay the fuck up, y'all smashing or something like that, I ain't, I ain't fucked up. I don't be looking at it's that It's social shit. media. Now when oh, that nigga heart your shit six times. Yeah, you see, you know what I'm saying? Look at the whole page. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That, that makes me know. look more you is like you just a pussy. You like heard. if you can't handle your own emotions, like I'm sorry, like I got one of my exes, y'all know my first ex. I have more How many eggs you got? Damn, yeah. Uh, I ain't got six of them. I'm still sitting out here. <laughs> 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 go ahead, go ahead. Um, but now, like, one of my exes, motherfuckers be hard on her shit, being like, oh, you look great. It's social media. You I ain't fucking like my bitch bad. Right? I, I like, want you to like Kevin come, say, come man, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I know my bitch bad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know she gonna and be like, 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 you walk around in the store with somebody looking at the girl ass. Get your look on, bro. You know, right. 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 I'm, right. I'm just gonna say, damn, do you know this motherfucker? Because she yeah. don't be in your face yeah. too much for me. And this, she looking a little hard, hard oh, me. This is, this is one of the things that I told told my right girl. Now. I was like, if I was you in a restaurant, I'll go ahead. I'm sure I cut people off. Oh, no, you real quick, like. <laughs> uh, but no, I told, I, I told my ex, I was like, if you want to go look good and go to the club, don't cheat, don't fuck on nothing, show what. I get to go home to every Period. night. But you know what I hate about that? Don't go out there and do all that, be dressed up and all that shit. No, I don't that see that none home. of that. I don't see none of that. And, and see, that's, that's the thing, too. Damn, what, 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 what them clothes been in the last six months? Yeah, right. Never seen and you see, you know what I'm saying? Luckily, shit. Damn, we trying to good shit. Yeah, yeah, we trying to good folks. I ain't seen that shit. Are you insecure? All I see is pajamas and big ass t shirts. Are you insecure? You know what I'm saying? I want to see shit, too. Big t shirts, I ain't gonna do that. Do I gotta come to the club? Do I gotta come to the club? That's where you right now. They come home and you in their clothes. I mean, I love to see that shit. In a big ass hoodie. I love to see that. But if, shit, if you're trying to go baby, out, she's sitting straight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so and sit in a attention like, seat. Yeah. 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 Breathe. I need to see that shit too. No, I, I got her all over that seat. I need to see that shit too, is all I'm saying. You got your ass bigger than mine, that my drawers on fit. Nah. Man. Man. I need to see <laughs> that shit. Don't worry about shit. Just like you wearing my shit. I need to see that shit you be putting on. I see that moo moo. Yeah, special phones with the pockets. That moo moo. That moo moo boy, I'm telling That moo moo a motherfucker boy. That motherfucker boy pressure. Especially with the pockets. It's, it's so ear curved. Alright, yo. Thank you. Give us one more good ass top. Man. Trauma bond. He's a bitch. Trauma bond. A lot of people don't know that they only cool with people. Because you oh, trauma. Because you trauma. Because you, you trauma. And in reality, you don't know this motherfucker, but you think they owe you loyalty. Oh, or they, they, oh, I, this person will never do me wrong. Do I don't even know you. Or I just know we both been through some shit. Yes, you fuck with I that person it. because of the trauma, but you see how big of a piece of shit they are. But you're like, oh, me. our traumas are the same. Yep. So like, this person is a good person, but they not. They a piece of shit. I ain't gonna lie. I had a homie. Me and him trauma bonded. We were like this. He was the biggest dirt bag piece of shit scumbag snake you could have ever met. Oh. But I love that dude because we had the same traumas. Yep. Yep. But then that's dangerous when you heal. Yeah. I've been in that situation. Yep. When I heal, therapy. I've never met nobody. On me. On me. Therapy. I was like, damn, we really don't have nothing in common besides trauma. And see, that's. You healed, and then every time this person come around, some shit going on. 
Mm -hmm. On me, and it feel like I'm like, damn, bro, I love like you, but now, I can't. It's a damper be around on you, you no more. Like nope. a big ass cloud. But soon when I'm not around them, yep. you're better. On me, and I be t you need to go to therapy. You gotta deal with this. Or you got so yeah. I'm. And a lot of people stay together in that relationship just because yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I got a friend with a relationship trauma. Like explaining this. Same thing y'all saying. Mm -hmm. Trauma with friendships. So. Mm -hmm. You went through the trauma in your little life, and she went through the trauma, and y'all bonded through that trauma together. But mm -hmm. more, me and this nigga, we bonding because me and him going through the same thing with the old lady. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But relationship trauma to me is a lot different because you're bound to that person through the traumas y'all put on each other, and no, you don't want to leave it because that's, that's what, what you're used to. I was you saying, can't. I was saying, like, y'all was saying friendship trauma. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. But I, I met O because him and you broke up, which I know you know I know y'all on there, but y'all broke up and then me and my girl broke up. That's how me and O started bonding. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, trauma bonding through a, a but, force. But that trauma bond was different, different because y'all two still have stuff that y'all are friends with outside of that trauma. We can we we can both heal. If if the whole reason like y'all are together or your friendship is together is just because of that trauma, that trauma. that's where it's bad. Yeah. Cause that's what they say you really don't but know. That's what I said if I didn't know them yeah. and I just met them when they were going through their breakup. I don't yeah. Know them breakup. That's the trauma I done. Yeah. I done experienced. This they trauma. bonded over the yeah. trauma. Traumas that didn't pertain to them. That's the trauma friendship I done had in my life. That's yeah. what I was explaining a while ago. Y'all yeah. said trauma, yeah. trauma bonding. I ain't really bonded with nobody from my traumas. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Besides female, me, I'm having a female issue and he having a female issue. Girl, I'm cutting yeah. the chair and now we bonding type shit. Yeah, because I, I had a homie, like, y'all know my past. Like, the whole, I was very depressed, very suicidal when I was younger. I had a homie, me and him both, we bonded over the fact that we both didn't think we would be around when we turned 18. Like our whole our whole thing was, hey, if we graduate, shit, cool. But like none of, neither one of us were like, we never both, we both thought we weren't gonna see graduation. And we both, we both bonded off of that. And when I finally got out of my own way and been like, bro, what, what am I, what am I getting myself up for? I got a good ass family behind me. Like granted, they may not be blood, but I got a good ass family behind me. And like, I know I'm, I know what I'm about. I know this, I know that. And when I finally got out of my own way and finally got in a better headspace, he wanted to stay in that headspace. He was trying to drag you back to and that headspace. And he wanted me to come back to that headspace. And like, dude was like my brother. Dude, dude, like I would have shot bullets for this dude. I would have taken bullets for this dude. And he refused to leave that. And it got to the point where I had to choose my own mentality of, do I want to go back to the headspace where I would rather just be in the ground six feet under or where I see I actually have stuff going for me now and I can make something better for myself. And I had to cut him off. Yep, you got to. I oh, mean. Got to, that's what I did. And I bet you tried to bring him up like, Swear to God, man, you gotta get a battle of this. Swear to God. Like, I was like, bro, like. He wasn't ready. Like, mm -hmm. bro, look at us. Like, both of us didn't think we would make it this far. Like, both of us thought we'd taken ourselves out before we even turned 17. My whole my whole thing, and my parents don't know this, but they're gonna know it now if they watch. My whole thing was, I thought I was gonna be gone before I could even drive. Like, I, I didn't plan on going to high school. I plan on kicking rocks. But. When I finally was like, I'm about to get out of this rug because I don't like it no more. I don't like waking up, hating myself, this, that, the third. And when I finally started working on myself, he didn't want to. And then he would want me to come back to that. And I was like, I can't do it. So and, a lot of people like that though. And that's, that's the thing is like. That's why a lot of people don't realize. Why you two bonded over trauma, but y'all both are still good and y'all both work through your trauma. But I don't know we still good because he just now came back around. He just <laughs> up for I ain't you know, I ain't even do that, you know. Well, see <laughs> besides that little now hiccup. That we back yeah, at this table. Yeah. Now we're back at the little red table. But well, a lot of people don't realize that they only only cool because, because mm -hmm. of trauma. Like I, I I like this one girl and her whole personality didn't like anything about it. I only liked it because she shared the same trauma as me. And then when I finally 
look back, I'm like, I have nothing in common with this person. This that person, trauma? this person fits nothing Our about trauma. what I'm looking for. This person has nothing I like. The only reason I even see this person being with me is because they experienced the same shit I went through. And I'm like, why would I want to put myself through that if I have nothing in common with this person, but that we were both suicidal? Because I met a girl that was the same way as me. Like, I had a homie who was the same, and I had a female that was the same. And I was like, that's all we share. That's all we have in common is we were both suicidal. That's tough. Oh, I just know, man, but a lot of people took the time to work on themselves. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of great people. Thanks. Therapy works. See, I need to do that. I just... Man, the therapy right here. That's, that's yeah, what that's mine was. And see, that's how this started. But that's what mine was. No, From where I was at a year and a half ago to now, they're like a brand new person. Swear to God. Because like, yeah. it's crazy yeah. how many of my family and friends are like, you were suicidal. Hell yeah, I was. And they too many know. people hold in. Mm -hmm. Too many people hold stuff in. Yeah. And they but never people, a lot of people can't talk yeah. to the people around them about that, though. Yeah. People are like, damn, I never knew you was depressed. But you know what another party is? Just because I'm around you getting turned, I'm smiling all that well, whole time, I'm dying on the inside. Another yeah. part of that is that people don't even try to speak. Mm -hmm. I can't talk to that person. How you know? You ain't trying. How you know? That part. Yeah, hey, I got suicide on my side. I'm out of you. I've been there, though. Felt that. I've been there long. And, and what's the worst part about it is when you finally get the courage to speak to somebody and then they're like, oh, you're just weak minded. Bitch, no. Nah. If I could switch my mindset, I would. That part. It's when you wake up and that's all you think about. Depression, a motherfucker. Suicide, yeah. don't find it. It's a motherfucker, man. You, you can't help. You can't help your emotional state sometimes. Yeah. I don't know nobody that's been that far down. They can say, I ain't never been had a suicidal thought. No real life. Like, that's why anytime somebody who has killed themselves, I never am like, you, you you're selfish. I'm like, I nobody knew. Nobody knows yeah. what you're going through at that moment other than you, especially if you don't I talk feel to like people. It's selfish, it's yeah. selfish but it's get, not at the same time because. You didn't give me the opportunity. But here, here's the thing, though, is... I could have gave you the opportunity my way and you didn't take it yeah. the right way. You if I'm showing you signs. It, and you never picked up on it. But a lot of times, you want to you know somebody. You, you can't... You can't see the sign of a suicidal person unless you've been there. Mm -hmm. That's true, too. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't never been in that head space... And everybody go through it once in their life. You know what I'm saying? Everybody had these thoughts. It mm -hmm. was a divorce, a loss yeah. of a child, uh, loss of a sibling, a, a war between you and your mama. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Everybody go through it in. where they had this thought. You feel what I'm saying? But if you ain't never been in that, that process of depression, that, that process of suicidal thoughts, you will never see the signs from somebody else. And mm -hmm. some people, like myself, who is emotionally... Uh, like I don't show emotions. You, you feel what I'm saying? Really know. You would never under. You would never know. Cause like I said, I've been this motherfucker right now. I'm happy or sad. You'd you never know. know. Check mm -hmm. out. Check out a lot of the ones that's been happening the last few years. What a lot of family members say. Are you just happy? You been cutting up, I mean, doing all this. And, and, he was just over here. And that's why uh, we just I, had a good time. I ain't gonna know what I'm wrong with you. I can't really even like. I can see where you're coming from. Like it you is selfish. You probably ain't show nobody really. Mm -hmm. you know like you just saying? said, my family probably didn't even know this. Especially so now, if you ain't around nobody. Your homeboy knew. You know what I'm saying? Because but that's because he was going through friends. it. So you felt you like you could speak saying? to him. But your, your family members, they ain't know until you just, just said it. it. You feel mm -hmm. what but I'm a saying? lot of people that commit suicide, yeah, they can talk about it all day. They don't know they're going to do it till the moment they do it. Oh, yeah. And then it's too, I mean, it's, it's already too late. It's too late. But you had them thoughts. And a lot of people that suicide or depressed, they'll go be to themselves. Mm hmm. You know what I'm saying? They, they always to themselves, and that's when they make the wrong decisions. Yeah, because when that's I got down and down, I, I you remember when I used to come through here when I had the little white hoe, my car. Oh, I was showing like, when you had, I was showing like, when you had the white hoe. That's the first thing that happened. You remember when I used to come by here every day and see y'all? I was showing like, what you had. But I knew, but I knew. I thought you were depressed though. Very much so, but I knew. When I came to the motherfucking shop, he was good. I knew that tea 
and motherfucking J Row and Cuddy. Shout out to Natosha. I can see the depression. Tia, I shout out to you. I mean, they trying to know what I be like. Mm-hmm. Y'all want to take a shot? Yeah. But that was my way of dealing with it. Yeah. With no cap. Like no cap. Ca- like no ca- when my daddy died, when I say, I, how can I say it? Like I said, I woke up to 40 missed calls. I was asleep while he was dying. Right. That's tough. That's how I felt. That's tough. So, like I said, I just come through this bitch every day, balling. But you found what you needed. And, and I moments. knew. And I knew. If you All know. I got to do is pull up on Saudi. Yeah. They're going to take a shot with me. They're going to they gonna make me laugh. Yeah. Anything. That was like yeah. I should have been. Like, that's going to make me laugh. Yeah. That time, I run around people with good energy. Yeah. When Aaron will be, be at work, I know I can pull up on y'all at any time. Shout out to Boom, too, because I used to pull up on Boom like it was nothing every day to the point where people didn't believe that was my real cut. But you, but you kind of like me. You found you, that out. You understood yes. if you're in that mindset, because I'm the same way. If I'm in yes. that mindset, I don't need to be alone. See, and that was me. And that's how I used to think about it. Aaron would come home and then Boom. Because, like. She got to call my mama then. Because they know it perfectly. Like, if I was alone. I was probably gonna do something stupid, yeah. and they made every excuse to get me out the house. Like, That's oh, right. oh, bro, hey, bro, look, we need to, we need to talk about just, just going to drive around. And I'm like, man, bro, I don't, anything, I don't want, I don't want anything. Anything. Nah, bro, come on, come on. Bro. I was alone. Yeah. I had anything. my own apartment, two bedroom right. apartment, there by myself. I cut everybody out. Like anything. Everybody. Facts. That's when I same time I stopped Facts. talking to him. When I stopped talking to him, Facts. I stopped talking to her. I'm with I stopped you. talking to her. I felt like it was her fault. <laughs> I, I, stopped, I stopped talking to the closest people around me. Man, and it's only so what much me out of it. liquor and drugs. When I say I was eating, I don't give a fuck, I'm transparent. I was eating X pills. I'm buying a honey pack every two days. Right. I mean, X pills like it ain't nothing. Right. I'm surprised I ain't lose no weight, but I always been a greedy, a greedy asshole. Right. I'm going to eat. I'm popping X pills on the daily. Four, five at a time. Huh. Right. Straight I in. I ain't come outside. I only came outside. Logan came around. I need you to do this for me. I need you to do this for me. I need you to do this for me. That's when I started doing them favors. That's when I started coming back outside. Before then, I was in that apartment. Nobody around me. I probably see my kids once a week just to see somebody, to have a conversation. I don't care if they're two. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Just to have a conversation. And that's how it was. Me, I was alone. But that was my fault because I chose to be alone. Yes. Like you said, you could pull it up on somebody, have a good conversation, oh, mm-hmm. and that would bring me out. But I feel like, you know, I'm big yes. dog. I shouldn't be like this. I shouldn't let oh, nobody yes. see me like this. It's like a stigma. So that's what kept me there. I or nobody see me like that. Or my biggest thing is I don't want to put them feeling like they got to fix me. I don't want to put that shit on them. I feel like oh, I done so much in my right life there. to where they see me like this. You know what I'm saying? Like that would be like I done failed at everything. That would seem to be like this. That was my biggest thing of why I never talked about it is I'm like, why why do I need to get my friends and family worried about my mental health? Like right. why do I need them to stay awake and not knowing am I gonna take too many pills this night? Man. Like that's the thing is why I never did it because I'm like, I don't need I don't need them stressing over me. Yeah, part. Yeah. I, I asked my depression what, when I cried what I to a woman. I cried to Miss uh Yeah, that's why I got on my depression. I feel like I like the better candy diet. Oh my! Here you come, bro. Here you come, bro. Did you feel so good after this? I cried. I was over there playing play cards, and I just fell out in tears. Yeah. That's what a lot of people probably. I can't cry in front of a stranger. That's the best person I ever yeah. cried in front of was a stranger. Yeah. I don't, if I don't it comes out, I'm not gonna stop it. If it's, it's there it now, I'm there now. But I start crying, I disappear. Like, if I was to start crying now, I'd be like, excuse me, I got you bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if I got emotional like that, excuse me, I got you bad. I got something to fuck up. Going to bed. I learned it was okay. That's when I learned it was okay. That's when I learned it was okay. Because when I finished, I'm straight. Don't clean your soul. No, I ain't never. I'm not going to lie. I cried to myself. Man, I cried to myself. I ain't going to lie. I ain't never. I cried to myself, man. You know what I'm saying? But I cried in front of one person. She ain't just. May she rest in peace, man. She was a beautiful soul. You feel me? That's why anybody call me. I don't care if it's two, three o'clock in the morning. Hello. Yeah. I'm asking the phone. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna call you in the morning. <laughs> okay. I ain't trying to be funny. I don't hear shit. Yeah. When I'm out, I'm out. Yeah. When I go to sleep, it, it's pitch black. 
Yeah, I got six hours. I got fame nice. zones. I got insomnia. It takes me, uh, it take me a while to go to sleep. It takes me a while to go to sleep. But when they, you do, they, you, I can call D right now. She'll tell you, uh, he go two, three, four in the morning. Uh, uh, you are sleep. You sleep. Out. <laughs> and it don't matter what time I go to sleep. I'm getting See? up at eight. Yep. That's on me. The dot. On the dot. I'm yeah. so working overnight. Me too. So I feel like I'm sleeping too long. I ain't going to sleep till I'm tired. I ain't going to sleep right now. I'm going to sleep like, damn, I slept too long. And then I'm up. I'm doing this all night. Yup. Yup. Swear to God. I'm on TikTok, man. I ain't going to lie. Me too. I'm playing the game. Just Looking at recipes. I don't know how. No, I'm going to roll over, bro. You might feel a little shaky. You might feel a little shaky in the bed because I'm laughing about something. I ain't trying to laugh, laugh. Roll over, bro. Although, although the baseball been helping me get to sleep. I've been getting to bed a little early about 1.30, 2 o'clock. Playing baseball. That's other for you? Yeah. I wish I could go to sleep. I'll get off the two. What that feel like? Get off the two. Yeah. It take a while. Yeah. I turn the baseball on. I do. Oh, yeah. And then get to go to bed at 1 2. I start baseball by 12, 11, 12. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got to sign my lease tomorrow at like 10 30. I know it's going to take me after we film here. It's going to take me at least three, four hours just to get settled for my mind to come. Not I. Make sure I get in the bed. I'm out. That's, that's I have to smoke. I, I have to. And then I got sleep aids. But when that's I get to the only way I, I can smoke. really get to sleep is out of doors. Is it to smoke by the smoke? Oh, got to smoke. Oh, got to go get a drink. Boy, let me let my head I got to pop that daily. I got to pop that daily out the fridge. I go home like, okay, let me take some shots real, real fast. I'm saying I get that daily out the fridge. I smoke. I ain't going to sleep. Right. I'm paranoid. It keeps me up. Yeah. Every little creek. No, not that paranoid. Okay. I'm life paranoid. Like, damn, now I'm up here. No book. Writing down goals and oh, no, no. Yeah, how to get to the goal. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? See, understand? you're smoking the wrong stuff. You're smoking sativa. You're smoking shit that keeps you up. I smoke sativa. Right. I smoke uh, indica. Yeah, I didn't try it. Nah, I don't smoke. I'm up and I'm. And then like the hybrid, nah, the hybrid. Uh, the I'm indica. The indica had well, me up. Well, you can call me. I'll be up. Yeah, and I always right, say it's take a shot. And Santiva is going to have me up with this, <laughs> with this little light on. Right there, right there. <laughs> Sweeping and cleaning. It's, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm up, wiping three. stuff down and shit. You feel me? In the hybrid. Give me half shot. The hybrid, I'm like doing both. I don't know what's wrong with me. I got to pick up my daughter from work. See, that's the oh, thing. It's like indica. You lightweight. All right. I can't. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Look, talking about I already got to drive him. I'm not going. I don't need that. I know everybody can't drink like me. I be watching your stories. I'm like, girl, this is how it. I said, I can't drink under the table, man. Uh, I thought you said you can drink under the table. Get your money with your mouth. Right, yeah. I'm telling you right now, I'm yeah, shot number two. I don't want one. I know who my next uh, beer pong party is. She got you. Wait a minute. What kind of beer you going to have? I do shots. I don't even do the beer. I don't even do the beer. We play beer pong. We play beer pong. I, I, I do a jello shot or I, I shot shot. Yeah. I well, can't do that. I, can't do I just time. want, for the record, I had this nigga important. drunk as fuck. You know what I'm saying? For, beer pong. For the record, it was already like my second or third game. Because, you know, I was up. He played me four times. I was up. Damn. They're playing him. He was drinking beer. I was drinking shots. Oh, that shots. ain't fair. So to me, I felt like I was getting there quick. But before so long, it was shot. Beer, pong. pong. But before we saw back there, we was already three bottles. What was deep. the shot? Yeah. So was it beer or some other liquor? I was beer. drinking liquor too. But beer pong, I drink beer and beer pong. That's what I do. Yeah, beer, beer, beer. 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 I don't give a fuck what he was doing. <laughs> he chose that life. That's what he chose to drink. But I would admit, the game is called beer pong. <laughs> <laughs> I, admit, I poured my beer in my cup and drunk my cup. Boy, got me. I admit that. I there, will, there will be a rematch. I whooped the whole house. We will be rematch. Oh uh, shit, we gotta play. I will die. You don't want that smoke. We can, we can, we go get some cups right now. I gotta, well, I gotta drive home. We will, Take we, us we, out. we will set it up. Shit. Next weekend. I get off at six, so wait till. Any off final thoughts before I take us I'm out? I'm Saturday and Sunday. I work Monday through Friday. Well, I work right now seven days a week till six. I get off at six. If you're going through whatever, do your best to heal. Seek therapy too. <laughs> Yes. It, it works. I mean, I'm a Whether you're going to see a therapist or you got a friend that you can sit on their couch and they listen. And you can call me. Hit me up on Facebook, Nisha Boo Washington. I got you. I'm up all night. You can't heal. You can't heal. Line. 
You definitely yeah, you got to tell the truth. truth. Let the truth out. Let whatever come back to you. But that's how you heal. And with that being said, to end it on a better note, no more ditties out in this world. <laughs> I'm so weak. A thousand bottle of baby oil is fucking crazy. Oh, man. <laughs>